Hey, it's Miss Center Sax Player here. Uh, I've been getting some messages from some of you guys. Uh, just mainly, the main messages I've been getting are wanting me to go more in detail about my hallucinations. So, here I am going more in detail about my hallucinations. Um, I've been hearing things ever since I was a little girl, uh, around four or five years old. I've always heard voices, command hallucinations, telling me to hit someone, telling me to cut someone or myself. And when I was little, I used to act on them a lot. I would pick up a chair and throw it at my sister, or throw rocks, throw my fist. But as I got older, I um, stopped listening to them, because I knew every time that I listened to them, I would get in trouble with my parents. And um, sometimes they would want me to get in trouble so that I would get a spanking. They wanted me to be in misery. The voices, not my parents. The voices. <laughs> Let me clarify. So, I've always heard things like that. And I thought that it was normal. I didn't realize that it was wrong or, uh, I didn't realize something was wrong with me until I was about 15 or 16. Then I started seeing things that uh, started off with just seeing bugs that weren't there. I would see them run across the floor and no one else would react to them. And if you know me, you know I don't like bugs because I have this fear that they'll get in my dreads and I won't notice it. So, it's kind of a bad, bad fear to have because uh, people pull pranks on me, especially around Halloween. But it started with me just seeing small bugs and rats stuff like that, animals, cats, dogs, squirrels, and it gradually grew into me seeing people, and it started off just being people that I know, like family, mainly. Um, I used to see my dad all the time when I would lay down to go to sleep at night, I would see standing by my bed, but and I was so confused because I knew he was in his room. Then who was that looking at me? Um, I would see my sister a lot. I knew she was asleep upstairs, yet she'd be sitting down next to me talking. So I never knew which one was which. So, um... Then from there, it grew into more disturbing, violent hallucinations. It grew into me seeing creatures, these creatures throwing things at me, tearing up my room, following me around, um, especially around the age of 19 I had a really hard time because they were following me around and I, I didn't realize that they were hallucinations I, I didn't know what they were and um, they followed me everywhere I went so I'd be walking around campus at school trying to go to class, but I can't because I'm scared so bad. I mean, I was, I was just so afraid. 
of everything that was following me around. And there's a bee over here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a bee. So, I tried to move out of the sun. I didn't realize that the sun was bearing down like that. But, yeah, I tried to move. Um, but the kinds of monsters I see were around nine, eight or nine feet tall, probably. And, um, dark black leathery skin. And, um, with red stripes going over their spine. And they have three toes on each foot. And they're always kind of crouching. Uh, these creatures would always follow me around. And their fingernails, several inches long, always dripping with what I thought was blood. So, three of them. One had red eyes, one had blue eyes, and the other had green eyes. And, um... That's the only way I was able to tell them apart was the eyes. And they used to frighten me so bad because I thought they were real. And they seemed so angry. I thought, you know, they were going to hit me. They never actually hit me. They only threw things at me. And messed with my stuff in my room. So... Uh... That was those hallucinations. And then sometimes I have hallucinations that this girl Carrie Ann is coming out of me. Like trying to crawl out of my mouth. Or just really weird because sometimes I have hallucinations and fears that there's moths in my ear. And anyways, so Carrie Ann tries to split me open from the inside out and crawl out of me. Lucy tries to take control over me. Zero wants me to let her take control. Lucy, Zero, Mary, all three of those are little girls. And Lucy and Mary used to live in that house there. But now they're mad. Because we're supposed to have that house torn down. So. That's the church my parents preach at. Yeah. Um. But I see animals. I see cats. This is shapeshifter. I have this. Uh, I was hospitalized uh, a couple months ago, and I don't remember being there all that much, because I was in a different world that I go to called Tyrenia, and I haven't been there in a while, but it's, it's my own little world that I go to full of all of my hallucinations. It, their, their things are happier for me, even though that's where all the monsters are. The bad things don't happen until the monsters come to my world, come to this world. So, like the creatures is what I call them. If I see them in Tyrania, everything's okay, but if I see them while I'm here, then it's scary. I don't know why that is. But, yeah. So, that's just my hallucinations in a bit more detail. If you have any questions, comments, comment below, send me a message, and please sus subscribe. I'm making videos at least once a week. So... <laughs> Because I like making videos. It gives me something to do. Um, 
yeah, so, see you guys later.